Hoosier Energy is a not-for-profit electric cooperative operating in the Midwest ISO footprint. Hoosier Energy is trying to meet the corporate goal of adding renewable generation to a mostly coal-fired portfolio. Landfill gas is a low-cost renewable energy source and one that Hoosier would like to utilize. The Woodland Meadows project not only offers renewable energy opportunities, but also the chance to utilize waste heat from the engines to offset natural gas heating. The project will contribute to Michigan's renewable portfolio standard, adding green generation to the economy. The Jefferson City Combined Heat and Power Plant is a good example of a facility similar to the proposed Woodland Meadows project. Inside the control room here, we're measuring the decibel level of the sound of the engines. Currently, we're running at 69 decibels. Of course, this unit here does not have sound attenuation on it, such as the Woodland Meadows facility will have. We're here at the Jefferson City Correctional Facility Combined Heat and Power Plant. Behind me are three GE320 engines. The engines are running on landfill gas piped in from about three miles away from a Republic Services landfill. Here's our generator. Uh, they're just a little bit over one megawatt, 1,059 kWs. We have three of them at this facility to put out just a little bit over three megawatts of power. Once again, enough power to power 3,000 homes. As you can see on the outside are the air intakes. At Woodland Meadows, they will be on top of the building. The building heights are similar. They're both going to be about 25 feet in the air. The only difference being that there'll be a fourth engine at Woodland Meadows, while there are only three here at this facility. We're about 100 yards away. When I'm silent, you can see that the meter drops down to anywhere between 60 and 65 decibels. Above me is the waste heat piping that takes waste heat from the engines and routes it back to the prison. Therefore, when the engines are running, the prison does not have to run its boiler system and get supplied with free waste heat. This is a similar setup to what will be in place at the Woodland Meadows project, except instead of having above ground piping, all of this will be located underground and not visible. A common misconception about the piping of landfill gas to an area is that it would bring the odor of the landfill onto this site. However, as the landfill gas is piped in and destructed in the engines behind me, it produces no odor, and in fact, when the engines are not running, they're not pulling gas from the landfill, and it stays at that location three miles away where it's flared off. When the engines are operating, they are destructing all the gas, thus destroying the odor. One way to think about this is like a natural gas stove. When you light your stove and the burner is burning, you smell nothing of the natural gas. The same thing can be said for these engines. As they're destructing methane, they produce no odor that you would find if the gas was simply allowed to leak out into the atmosphere. The Woodland Meadows project will produce almost 11 megawatts of renewable energy and the waste heat will offset approximately 60 to 65 percent of the heating load for the Visti on campus. The greenhouse gas reductions of the plant are equivalent to removing over 88,000 passenger cars from the road or the equivalent of removing 2,000 rail cars of coal from use or the equivalent of not using 52 million gallons of gasoline. The Woodland Meadows Combined Heat and Power Plant, located at the Visteon World Headquarters, would utilize a waste resource for renewable electricity generation in an economic, efficient, and environmentally friendly manner.